much. God, the gas. I hate it. Oh, the pain. Anyway. Uh, so, yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna save. Now, I'm gonna read a little bit of those letters. Get a little bit of lore. Um, if you don't want to do that, if you want to hear, sit here, you know, sit there and listen to me read lore and, you know, that the current goings-ons, then you might want to uh, skip ahead a bit. Um, so to refresh ourselves, take, get, immerse ourselves a little bit more right now. Uh, what's currently happening, you know, if you, have, if you haven't been, if you haven't noticed, or if you don't know, because I, you know, I've been taking this not seriously until now. Uh, we arrived in Enderol. Uh, with some ear rape cutscenes, uh, and Enderal right now is in a time of panic and chaos. People are suffering from this thing known as the madness, uh, which causes them to like frenzy, go and get red eyes, and start going on a killing spree and talk about like the holy light and stuff like that. Um, and we ran into a person named Jaspar, who has been recruited to sort of investigate this madness, and he has now sort of hired us, or not really hired us, but is recruiting our help to learn more about the Shred Madness in exchange for us trying to get information about a disease or a fever that we're currently suffering from. Um, and the person he told us to investigate is a guy named Yero, who was a keeper of this holy order that exists, who apparently massacred a classroom full of people. Uh, he was a professor, I guess, a keeper, a teacher of holy scriptures and things like that. And we found these letters uh, buried in front of his old house. And now we're going to read these letters and sort of see if we can glean any things off, off these. So, uh, Yaro's diary, first letter. Yesterday, uh, oh. Syrah and I sat under a little oak. She said something I can't get out of my head. The greatest peril in life is forgetting one's own ideals. These letters, the testimonies of my past, shall ensure. Letter 1, 8171, after Starfall. Yesterday, a keeper came into the village to offer me a novitiate. Apparently, old mother Ilana set forth the matter after she realized I was magically gifted. Grateful as I am, the matter raises a strange train of thought. Maybe, in some grotesque way, it was good. of this world and have the desire to change something? Only Syra is different. She understands what drives me and she shares my dream of a better world. I told the Keeper that I will come, but only if she is granted an apprenticeship in art. Thank Malthus he agreed. Now, that is something I do like about this, is that I don't know about the rest, since I did, like I said, I didn't I haven't beat this game yet. Some main story, um, like of great importance, of great significance, stuff like this will have voice acting. Most books don't, but the Yarrow Diaries will. There's just these few, and I don't know if any more of significant like main story books in the future that we have to collect, it, if any at all, will have this voice acting. But this is pretty nice. I do like this a little bit. Gives a more I guess immersive narrative rather than hearing it in my kind of dull voice. Alright, uh, Yaro's Diary, second letter. Letter 2, 8186, after Starfall. Fifteen years have passed since my last letter. Syrah and I now live together in a small house in Arg. It's been five years since I trial, but despite what I thought, I did not join the military wing of the Order. Instead, I became a Magister. Why? Because the children I teach will shape the future of this world. Because there is enough bloodshed already. Two weeks ago, the Trachessa approved Zira's concept of the Food Bank. It obliged 
obliges every wealthy citizen of Ark to pay a handful of pennies to the order with which the order will provide a warm meal for the undercity dwellers once a week. Their reactions embittered me. The decree does not ask for much, yet many protested as though we threatened to take their homes. I will never understand people like them. As sad as this may sound, I am happy. My life provides me with a feeling of purpose, and I still have Sira at my side after all these years. It is strange, even though I know you will never read these lines, it almost feels as if through them I can speak to you. Sira, I love you. So he's in love, he's, he's in a position of sort of teaching, you know, as was suggested from what we learned about him already. Um, and he's got a person that he uh, he's with who's very, like, into helping the less fortunate and stuff. And he's very angry already. Uh, what, what's his face? As uh, Alfred is kind of pointing out anger within him. And he's kind of angry now. Or, yeah, actually, both, both of the first diaries just kind of state anger towards uh, villagers, you know, his fellow... Uh, townsfolk and also uh, people who he sees as kind of like stingy I guess people who aren't as willing to, to make the world a better place which is understandable Tira is dead well okay killed by two undercity dwellers as she helped prepare the food bank how swiftly these words are written Sira always said it copes to write, yet it doesn't. I sit here watching the ink dry and the letters form the words of a stranger. A stranger in my own body. I am a stranger when I wake up in the morning. I am a stranger when the sun sets at dusk. I am a stranger when I lie in bed at night. The path condemns suicide as a crime because we all have a purpose in this world. But what is mine? I look ahead and I see 30 winters of solitude. I look back and I see nothing but a trail of broken dreams. Our food bank caused brawls and murder in the undercity. The rich forced the Trachessa to revoke the decree. So tell me, Malthus, is this my purpose? To fail? My thoughts are chaos, and I'm too tired to continue writing. So yeah, I mean, there's there's some lead up to maybe. The thing is that I already know this at this point. The madness is a thing. It's not just like he went off a deep end simply because he had these issues. That it's been confirmed that he's had that he that he was suffering from the madness, and there's other people that have done the same. But there's usually, in, in most of the cases uh, that I remember from last time, it was like, it sort of led up because people were dealing with times of strife where maybe they had things that sort of showed uh, vulnerability emotionally and mentally. So perhaps it's a gateway for whatever the madness is, magical or non-magical, to infiltrate these people, perhaps. That's all I've really gleaned from it from what I've played so far, but... Uh, and I'm also stuck in a wall. Great, fantastic, love it. Um, so yeah, interesting stuff, honestly. Uh, I, I really do want to see this game through to the end, because I want to know what happens. Hello, rat. Um, let me... hold on. Hit rat. Fuck you, street rat! Uh, so yeah, I'm interested to see what happens. How this all kind of turns out. But we've got a long way to go. This is going to be a long series, I can tell. Uh, with all the exploring. Um, and all the uh, various quests to do, and all just everything, just just a lot of everything. Uh, there's a lot of things to do in this game, and I'm I'm looking forward to do, to it. I'm already having a lot of fun right now. Um, and also that castle. We need to go there at some point. There's some stuff in there to kill. <coughs> I open it. Up. In the meantime, uh, I need to look at the journal again. Uh, tell just part about after stories, and I think 
Uh, I forget. I think Jaspar might actually just be in the cellar. But he might also be in the town. I don't think he is. I think he's down here, actually. Um, but yeah, so. Interesting stuff. At least I think he's down here already. Phasmalist workbench. So yeah, Phasmalist. Phasmalism was that. Ooh. Oh, hello. Don't poke me. Only if you're going to do it sexually. Ooh, oh, Chaos Nova. I love Chaos Nova. Nurber. Once again, I, I want to try and all around it. I want to kind of go back to using a little bit of entropy and like dark magic. Also, I hear talking. Yep, there he is. Hello, buddy. Hey, you fucking queer bitch. Oh, oh memory. Good pipe. Mm. Well, well if it isn't my new friend. Any luck? Nope. Um, I had a chat with Alfred, and he seems to think, yeah, I found what you are trying to get rid of. Uh, what about you? Uh, no, let's talk about me. I'm more important. Well, well, that's interesting. Good work. That only leaves the mysterious object in the water. I already found it. I'll have a closer look around here in the meantime. I uh, know you won't. You'll sit there and you'll fucking listen to what I have to say. Interesting. There you go. I didn't know about his companion's fate, to be honest. Hmm. Irony of fate, isn't it? Murdered by those you wanted to help. What a joke. It's funny. But the Order will definitely be interested in these letters. Well done. That should be all we need, then. Splendid. What about you? I did. And now I finally know what to make of it. Come, follow me. Very well, I'll come. Come. Uh, I kind of want to use that memory point, but uh, whatever. I mean, it, it can wait. This is just going to be a short bit of not doing a whole lot. I don't think there's any enemies down here, but I can't remember for sure. Hello? Mother, I'm home. Yeah, there was no enemy. Ooh, jeez. Open for me. There we go. Easy motherfucking pe- a, a red apple. Are you shitting me? <laughs> Fuck off with that. Jesus. Fucking Christ. I mean, give me some XP, but still. Fucking come on. I present a star people's lock. And I bet my buttocks will find another answer behind that door over there. A star people's lock? I never heard of that. <laughs> Doesn't surprise me. This kind of lock is usually only found in treasuries or castles, but they can be picked. But that's going to be quite the challenge without the bolts. Not really. Normally, yeah. It's quite simple, actually. Every keyhole has a matching bolt that latches into place once you insert it. And once all the keyholes, five in our case, are latched, the door the lock protects opens up. If you don't have the matching bolts, however, you should prepare yourself for the most frustrating break-in of your life. That is, if you don't happen to be Jaspar. Who knows a little trick? Okay, you cocky fuck. What is it? You can use wooden sticks instead of bolts. They'll break a couple of seconds after you put them inside the lock, but if you manage to get all five sticks into place before the first one breaks, you can basically trick the mechanism. It's all about speed, in other words. So I'd say you do the running, and I'll wait near the pressure plate. You ready? How about screw you? Splendid. Here are the sticks. All right. Just shove them up my Go. ass real quick. Um, okay. Yeah, I just want to look around. So this is two, that one, two. It's last two are above me. Kill yourself, asshole. Huh? Oh. Why oh, do I just have infinite sticks? Alright, come on. 
I did this on the first try last time. What the what? What the fuck? What the fuck? Oh no! Damn, that was oh. too slow. We'll Listen, Jespar, you need to shut the fuck up. Oh, this is fucked. I'm just gonna wait for that one because uh, that was a big old fuck up right there. I hate this. This is so stupid. I, this is the one. This is my one great. I like puzzles. This is not a puzzle. And if it is considered a puzzle, it's not a very good one. Damn, that was too slow. Shut up. We'll shut, try again. shut your face. If I had silence as a spell in this game, I would use it on you right now, because your, your fucking merciless babbling is not helping. Your negative Nancying is annoying. Brilliant. There we go. You're really good at this. Now let's take a look and see what the other fucking way bitch. Want anyone to see, shall it's we? a skeleton! That's more like a rotting corpse, but oh, oh shit! Just give me, give me a well, hold on a second, I'm dying. Give me one quick second. I, I, uh, I'm gonna die. Oh, well, you already did it, and it's gonna explode. So, oh, have fun with that. Jero knew about magic, that's for sure. That leaves us with the question of what exactly this is supposed to be. Very obviously a corpse. Hmm. I suppose that's his companion. Though it's interesting that he was already on the wrong side of the wall way before his rampage. Sure well, I already know why, but I'll ask for the sake of war. Why was he on the wrong side of the law? Well, burials are considered heathen here in Enderall. And have been forbidden for about 300 years now. Here, corpses are always cremated. The whole thing's called the last journey. The deceased is taken to a place he or she considered special during his or her life immediately after dying. That's the only way the soul can move on to the eternal paths. Sounds very poetic, but I'm pretty sure the only reason the Order introduced the law was to prevent plagues. Plus, they might have noticed that too many lost ones running around on trade routes aren't that much fun for wanderers and traveling merchants. So burying someone is considered a crime. Yeah, but of course that only goes for the little man. The rich and powerful still tend to their family crypts. And there are still plenty of old vaults around from the time before this whole last journey thing was begun. And it's good that way. What would life as a treasure hunter be like without the notorious noble looking for family jewels in a century old grave? So what now, bitch? Let's take a look around and see if we find anything. Uh, like some fire salts? Mmm, tasty. I'll just my burger. Beloved Sirith, this is my last letter. In it, I ask for forgiveness, for it was I who murdered you. No, of course it wasn't me who held the knife, but it was me who infected you with my fallacy. Ooh. The fallacy that the world with my fairness, I give you in. Does it? Yes, Sarah. There's still a part of me who refuses to believe these words, even as I write them. But just one look is enough to prove me a fool. We have so much, yet we are never content. We could make peace, yet we choose war. We embrace hatred over love. And no, Sira, there is no hope, no silver lining, no matter how much we try to tell ourselves the opposite. Mankind is at its end. It has been since some mad god created it for his amusement. A Quaranian philosopher once said that there comes a time in our lives when we make a choice. A choice to live virtuously, yet in austerity or ignobly yet in pleasure the philosopher called this second choice choosing the void because
because this is what lurks behind its pretty face. Do you see it now, Sira? The bitter truth? They all chose the void, all but us. We who dreamed of something bigger. We who were willing to make a sacrifice for the greater good. Just imagine what we could have done if we hadn't been alone. But we were alone from the very beginning. And no, Syra, these words do not come easy. You of all people should know that. I wanted to believe there was hope. I wanted to believe that all one has to do is remain strong. But look where our idealism brought us. Here I am, in front of your dead body, murdered by those you wanted to help. We should have fled, fled to a far away isle to grow old together, but we didn't. And why? Because I corrupted you with my delusions. I too will go, Syrah. I don't think there is life after death. I do not care. But before I make my exit, I will give this world what it deserves. Do you remember? They all chose the void. They shall have it. Well then. What's that? Let me see. Ah, Jesus. Uh -huh. A tragic ending for a tragic personality, I'd say. Well, I think that should suffice. What do you think about all this? Not that I really care, but... Well, what should I think about it? Yarrow was a self-righteous fool, just like all these do-gooders are. They celebrate themselves as great messiahs as long as everything goes well, but once they fail, it's the bad, bad world that's responsible for it. The wise hermit has a good saying for that. People are only idealists until it starts to hurt. He and his lady should have simply stayed in Riverville. Come on, that's not insanity. It's bad kind of wouldn't be here without idealists. If it weren't for them, they'd probably still all worship, worship, worshiping as a Toron. Got a point there. I kind of disagree with both of these, but just to be on his good side. That, well, do I really care about that? I mean, you do need the occasional idealist, to be honest. I mean, I half agree and half don't, because like, we you need the occasional idealist. You just don't need everyone being an idealist, because if everyone's idealist, then there's no realists. If there's no realists, then, well, okay, well, get a point. Glad you see it that way. I don't think you should be. I think, fuck you, yeah, it was good art. we are. Here, I've got two teleport scrolls that can take us right back to Riverville. Just meet me in the tavern once you're ready to go. Well, I'm not going back to Riverville, because I have a lot stuff of stuff to, to take do. take care of, so there's no need to hurry. Farewell. Well... It's a good thing you say that because it's gonna be a long time before I fucking get back to Riverville. And also get your goddamn crotch out of my face, you son of a bitch. Anyway. Now that that's done, I'm gonna fucking sleep in Yara's bed! And uh, what's that happens? I think I'll be done for the day. And then, oh, hello, what's this? Whoa, bed. So I think I'm gonna stop there for now. Uh, I'm gonna get some food because I'm hungry, and I'll be back later tonight. Maybe I'll play more tomorrow. Uh, we'll see how it goes. But this was a good session. Got some stuff done. Uh, we're having fun. We're having a good time. Uh, making progress. Mungo is evolving as a character, as a personality, as a whatever the fuck he is, a warrior, I guess. Some kind of death-dealing, death-defying monstrosity. Um, <laughs> and uh, I'm, I'm excited to see how that progresses. Uh, but yeah, so this has been Bryce uh, from Deuce Gaming, playing Enderall. Fucking see you next time, motherfuckers! Whoa!